many great anime characters have had to endure sad and tragic backstories. Here are the best ones and why they stand out. In anime, character backstories play one of the most important roles in establishing motivations, personalities, and plot direction. A well-crafted backstory helps us to better understand characters, whether they're hero or villain, and why they do what they do. Backstories are the foundation for desires, goals, fears, trauma, grudges, and unusual behaviors that pique our interest. Many times, character backstories are tragic and sad, full of agony and heartbreak and loss and grief. Those key moments can lead to villainous behavior, desires for revenge, or aversion to people. They're often laced with physical and emotional suffering. From characters who suffered catastrophic losses to those who were born to a dark past, here are our picks for the best anime characters with sad and tragic backstories. Number 15, Rei, The Promised Neverland. Though all of the kids at Gracefield House are destined to their tragic fate as food for demons, Rei definitely got the worst of it. He knew, from the very start, what was going on at that orphanage. With his hyperthymesia, he knew that Isabella was his mother, and he knew that his mother would ship him out to be demon food along with the others. It would be far less tragic if he didn't know the truth. Number 14. Elric Brothers, Full Metal Alchemist, Brotherhood. Despite their father's absence growing up, Edward and Alphonse Elric lived a happy life with their mother Tricia. After she died due to an illness, they were left distraught and Ed came to resent his father. Desperate to bring their mother back, they committed the ultimate taboo of alchemy and performed human transmutation. Needless to say, their attempt resulted in the birth, and subsequent death, of a disfigured monstrosity. What's worse, the attempt ultimately cost Edward an arm and a leg, while Alphonse lost his entire body. From that point on, Edward and Alphonse went on a long and emotionally painful journey to restore their bodies. Number 13. Shigaraki Tamura, My Hero Academia. In a world where nearly everyone awakens an innate ability called a quirk, Shimura Thenko also awakened his own powers, but it cost him his entire family. His quirk called Decay killed their pet dog as his first victim, followed by his sister, and then the rest of his family, all for one took advantage of his tragedy, and turned Shimura Thenko into the villain he is now, with the new identity of Shigaraki Tamura. Number 12. Afuro Afro Samurai Afuro saw the death of his father at the hands of the mysterious number 2, with his father's head rolling in front of him. The violence and brutality he witnessed at a young age made him into the cold killer he is now. Fueled by revenge, he's been looking for the wearer of the number 1 headband that was taken from his father. Number 11. Gara Naruto Gara was introduced as a bloodthirsty sand ninja who's ready to kill anyone without second thought. Before he became a ferocious killer, he was just a young kid who longed for affection and attention. His mother died died after giving birth to him, and he was made into the host of the one-tailed beast, Shukaku. Fear caused everyone to avoid him, pushing him further into isolation, and at one point his trusted caretaker tried to assassinate him under orders from his father. Gara never had a normal childhood because he was seen as a lethal threat to the hidden sand village. Naruto almost suffered the same fate, but at least he overcame it with the help of his friends. Number 10. Guts, Berserk Since birth, Guts has lived his life surrounded by death and violence. After he is found as an infant under his mother's hanging corpse by mercenaries, he is taken in and raised as a child soldier. He also suffered severe abuse under his guardian Gambino, who even sold him to one of his soldiers. Guts eventually joins the Band of the Hawk, where he finally develops bonds of friendship and camaraderie. Years later, he is forced to watch as his friend, Griffith sacrifices his comrades to demons and forces himself onto his lover Casca. Despite surviving the massacre, he is cursed to be hunted by demons every night until he dies. Number 9. Center Pink, One Piece. Even villains fall in love. That's what the story of Center Pink of the Donkwixo family taught us. Many would laugh about his baby-like outfit but they don't know the truth behind it. It all started with Russian, a girl whom he fell in love with, who didn't know he was a notorious pirate. Russian, however, suffered trauma and entered a vegetative state after the death of their son, Gimlet, and became emotionless. The only thing that makes her smile is when Pink wears their son's clothes. Number 8. Hayakimaru, Dororo No matter the version, Hayakimaru appears destined to suffer from his father's ruthlessness. From the moment of his birth, Hayakimaru's father offered him as a sacrifice to several demons in exchange for his land's prosperity. As as a result, the demons rob Hayakimaru of everything, including his skin, limbs, eyes, voice as well as his spine. His father then orders him to be abandoned. Hayakimaru is later saved and raised by the Dr. Jukai who gives him artificial prosthetics to help him thrive, forced to suffer for the sake of another man's ambition. 
Hayakimaru is cursed with a fate worse than death. Number 7. Itachi Naruto Shippuden Itachi is one of the strongest ninja to ever exist, and a member of the Akatsuki. He was known as the rogue ninja who massacred his entire clan in a single night, leaving only his younger brother as sole survivor. But he didn't do it on a whim. It wasn't for hatred, a grudge, or even under the orders of a more sinister being. Itachi murdered his entire clan in order to prevent a much larger event that would certainly result in even more bloodshed and death. He chose to end the conflict before it started, sacrificing his own parents and kin. Number 6. Nico Robin, One Piece When it comes to the backstories of One Piece characters, Nico Robbins is by far one of the most tragic. When she was two years old, her mother left Ohara leaving her vulnerable to both verbal and physical abuse from her aunt, as well as other children. At age 8, the Marines attacked her home resulting in the deaths of her mother, her fellow archaeologists, as well as her friend Saul. From then on, Robin spent 20 years running from the world government. During that time, she was forced to fend for herself as everyone she came to trust eventually betrayed her. Until she met the Straw Hats, Robin's life was utter hell. Number 5. Meliodas and Elizabeth, Seven Deadly Sins Meliodas is the captain of the Seven Deadly Sins. He was cursed with immortality and has been roaming the lands for almost 3,000 years. His love interest, Elizabeth, was also cursed, destined to die, be reincarnated, and die again in an endless cycle. One death is tragic enough and full of pain. But Meliodas witnessed 107 heartbreaking deaths of Elizabeth. Number 4. Krona, Soul Eater Growing up, Krona suffered constant physical and psychological abuse from both his mother Medusa and his demon weapon Ragnarok. Their harsh treatment eventually drove Krona to the point of insanity. As an agent of madness, Krona does not hesitate to eliminate his opponents and absorbing their souls. In the anime, Krona's friendship with Maka helps him to break away from his madness. Unfortunately, this does not happen in the manga. He succumbs to madness and performs immoral acts like brutally slaying Medusa and becoming the new Kishin. In the end, one can't help but feel sorry for Krona. Number 3. Hansel and Gretel, Black Lagoon Hansel and Gretel, whose true identities remain unknown, have one of the most horrific pasts in anime. Abandoned at a young age, Hansel and Gretel were forced to participate in snuff films. They were ordered to murder other children or risk being violated and killed themselves. The constant abuse and horrors they witnessed pushed the twins to embrace the violence, turning them into serial killers. Believing themselves to be vampires, the twins thought that they could live forever if they kept taking lives. Sadly, the twins meet their end at the hands of Balalaika after they tortured and massacred her men. Number 2. Lucy, Elfin Lied As a child, Lucy grew up in an orphanage where she was neglected by her caretakers and bullied by the other children. Her only friend was a puppy that she cared for in secret. After showing the puppy to a fellow orphan, she revealed its existence to Lucy's bullies. Lucy was then forced to watch as they beat her only friend to death. This traumatic event caused her to lash out and slaughter her tormentors with her vectors. Lucy is then eventually captured and imprisoned in a government facility, furthering her hatred of humans. From a lonely little girl, Lucy's interaction with malicious humans turned her into a vicious killing machine. And top on the list is Sira's Victoria. Helsing, a former human and police officer, Sira's was turned into a vampire by Alucard. For most of the series, Sira's past remained a mystery. It wasn't until the seventh episode of Helsing Ultimate that details of her past were revealed. The episode shows that her father was an undercover police officer, and that the criminals he was investigating tracked him down to their home, where she witnessed them execute her parents. After stabbing one of her attackers, she was shot and left for dead, but not before she was forced to watch as one of the criminals violated her mother's corpse. This event continued to haunt her throughout her childhood. The end. Did we miss any? Let us know in the comments which character backstory was sad. If you enjoyed this video, do consider subscribing this channel. More amazing contents will be posted soon. See you in the next one.